So my name is Alberto Longo. I'm the co-founder of Formula E and also the chief championship officer. The ultimate goal of Formula E is basically to promote electric vehicles. And historically, electric vehicles have had a lot of barriers to uh, penetrate the market. Range, price, and infrastructure has been the, the main uh, restrictions that we have for, for the adoption. So um, yeah, having a platform like Formula E is basically helping overcome all those challenges that we had in the past. And how we do that? We do it uh, through the most amazing and thrilling uh, racing in the world. In 2001, I was a banker living in between Miami and Mexico, and then I received a call from uh, my business partner, Alejandro Agag, and uh, he wanted me to join his uh, venture in um, motor racing. I decided to live my life as a banker and, and join Alejandro, and we start uh, basically uh, the whole career of motor racing. We were involved and own uh, a GP2 team, a GP3 team, involved also in Formula One with Fernando Alonso. But suddenly we decided that there uh, needs to be for something else. We needed to create something uh, to change the world and to, to bring awareness about the electric vehicles. And that was drive our decision to, uh, to create this fantastic championship. We love at Formula E basically to leave a legacy behind every single location that we go to. Last year, only last year, we gave 1.5 million to local charities. Uh, we have been in, in Mexico basically doing a painting, a mural, with a paint that actually absorbed um, the carbon. So definitely, yeah, it's part of the ethos of Formula E, Le like to, to leave a legacy behind uh, everywhere we race. We race in the biggest cities in the world, in the heart of the biggest cities, so that involves a politics support. So the first thing that we do request is a, a letter from the mayor, from the president of the country, you know, to uh, basically have the will uh, to host a Formula event. Then we got into the what we call the feasibility uh, project. And feasibility basically involves FIA, the local federation, and obviously uh, technical people from the Formula E, which travel to the city and uh, basically uh, study the location that uh, the city or the mayor offers, and then we basically determine if it's whether viable or not uh, to host a race there. So what can we expect from season nine? I think uh, excitement. Again, we have an amazing new uh, Gen 3 uh, that is uh, capable of basically producing 40% of the energy that consumes while it's racing. We have uh, new rules. We have four amazing new cities which uh, go from India to Brazil, to South uh, Africa in Cape Town, and now we go to Portland in the US as well. Uh, I think Formula A today is uh, the most exciting form of racing that you can have uh, in the world.